What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Action Recap, where we rate action scenes in our favorite movies. I'm your host, Dean Malex, and today we'll be covering... Which was released in October of 2018, directed by Ruben Fleischer, best known for directing Zombieland. Starring Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock, aka... Michelle Williams is the girlfriend I wish I had, and Riz Ahmed is Lex Luthor I wish we got in Batman v Superman. Now is it me, or does Tom Hardy like to play characters that hide their face the entire time? Sh I wouldn't be surprised if he starred in Phantom of the Opera later down the line. Even though Venom was met with severely poor critic reviews, the film managed to gross over $800 million worldwide. That kind of success now guarantees a sequel with Cheapwig over here. Hi Eddie. Hey. How much you want to bet that 75% of the audience that went to go see Venom? thought it was part of the MCU. Honestly, I wouldn't blame him. Personally, I didn't find Venom to be all that good. However, the filmmakers did nail the character of Venom, for the most part. And is far superior to the Venom in Spider-Man 3. So does the Lethal Protector's first soul outing deliver the carnage? You see what I did there, carnage? Because he's gonna be in the sequel. Well, let's find out and get to the action. Three, two, one, go! The first action set piece in Venom has the riot symbiote causing an ambulance to crash after landing on Earth, taking over the female paramedic's body, and begins its journey of world destruction one step at a time. while the rest of the symbiotes are kept in captivity by the Life Foundation. Days later, Riot ends up somewhere in Asia and starts going on a little killing spree after being interrupted during snack time. And once Riot had his fun with the locals, it decided to ditch its youthful host for a more fragile older one. Oh, well, okay, whatever gets you across the world slower, I guess. NOT MY PROBLEM! Then there's Eddie Brock escaping from the Life Foundation research facility, where he bonds with the Venom symbiote for the first time. And in the midst of his escape, he shows off his parkour moves, <laughs> and super strength. As well as starts running through the woods, Logan style, but worse, and ends up on top of a tree hanging with Alvin and the Chipmunks. Soon after that, Eddie gets a visit from the Life Foundation specialists, which then leads to Venom's symbiote powers coming into full effect as Eddie tentacle whips, kicks, and punches the lifeguards into submission. You see what I did there? Lifeguards? Because they work for the Life Foundation. <sighs> Not to mention crashing a group of friends' PS4 gameplay session. What the hell? Dude, how did you do that? But Eddie makes it up to them by, I don't know, saving their effing lives? Now this next action set piece has Eddie channeling his inner evil Knievel by riding through the streets of San Francisco and in the midst of the action, Eddie is dodging drones, exploding cars, popping flaming hot wheelies, pulling off tight turns that would make Mr. Fantastic jealous, and is picking up some gnarly sick airtime, bro. As cool as it may seem seeing Eddie lay waste to all the vehicles in his way, you know what's my major problem with motorcycles? Wow, that was pretty cool actually, I'm not gonna lie. No seatbelts. Moments later, after Eddie visits the building of his previous employer, he is ambushed by a SWAT team, which soon becomes a one man army light show, with Venom taking out every SWAT member left, right, and center. Even though Venom has this fight in the bag, I admire the SWAT team's determination in taking him down. I'm sure if they had a couple hundred more flashbangs, I could see them having a 50 50 chance. And thankfully, Michelle Williams was there to witness the aftermath, or the poor SWAT guy would have been one of Venom's future turds in the wind. Speaking of Michelle Williams, we get the appearance of She Venom in this film taking out a few goons. Not a good time to lose one's head. Oh, indeed. That's not the way to get ahead in life. No. It's a shame he wasn't more headstrong. Mm. He'll never be the head of a major corporation. Okay, that'll do. Okay. Which was the biggest surprise in this movie for me by a mile. Alright, here we go. It all comes down to this. After not Lex Luthor wipes out his entire staff with the Riot symbiote, Four minutes, 30 seconds. Kill you, man. the climactic battle begins. The symbiote alpha male versus the runt of the litter. 
which is where we also get the cliche superhero fight with the protagonist and antagonist having the same powers as one another, but the antagonist has a little bit more edge to their design because they're Throughout the symbiotic sludge match, Venom is putting up a pretty decent fight, but is clearly outclassed by his superior. At one point, Eddie and not Lex Luthor are separated from their symbiotes and begin to duke it out man to man, which gives Eddie the advantage due to being a trained MMA fighter, and finishes off not Lex Luthor with a Superman punch, Showtime Pettis style. Wonderboy. <laughs> But it turns out after falling to his presumed death, not Lex Luthor dons the Riot symbiote once again, stabs Eddie through the heart, and leaves in the rocket ship to begin its alien invasion. But fear not, it's not over just yet. Venom bonds with Eddie yet again, saving his life, and then goes on to destroy the rocket ship with Riot's blade, killing Riot in the process, with the lesson of the day being, make sure you don't leave behind your deadly weapons before you go off into space. Because like Eddie said, Calm as a bitch. Overall, I give the action in Venom a 1.5 Venom logos out of 5. There are a total of 8 significant action scenes within Venom, however most of them were visual noise that never really elevated the film to its full potential, and ended up feeling more like those unsuccessful superhero films that came out in the early 2000s. You know which ones I'm talking about. I mean, when the best part of the movie is when She-Venom shows up, that's a problem. Which is a shame because Venom is one of my favorite Marvel characters of all time. Hopefully the sequel delivers a better experience. The Epic Showdown Award goes to Venom vs. Riot. Even though this matchup was a bit of a superhero cliche, I prefer to have the hero struggle to get the victory rather than breeze through any obstacle in his or her way. The Highlight Reel Award also goes to Venom and Riot during their CGI sludge fest as they go about ripping each other apart, which goes to show that battling for symbiote dominance is no joke. The Balboa Award for Best Fighter goes to She Venom for coming in clutch to save Eddie from going out like old Yeller. Even though her appearance on screen was short-lived, she made a lasting impression in my book. The Ballistic Award for Worst Action Moment goes to Eddie and Carlton Drake fighting in human form. I mean seriously, get this WWE sh** out of my Venom movie. And there you guys have it, the action recap for Venom. Let me know in the comment section down below what film you'd like to see me cover next. Like, subscribe for more content from me, I'm Dimalex, I'll see you in the future.